Uh, yeah, I put fruit in these because these aren't working as cookies because of the extra almond flour. So I'm just turning it into crumble. The crumbly crunch. Yep. Normally you put a little oil in there. I'll do that. I'll do what I'm supposed to. Okay. First you put the fruit in, then you put the oil over it. Impressive. Impressive oiling, my lord. Yep. What are you? I'm the oil baron. <laughs> My, my balls, I've compressed my sperm so much from not fucking that uh, it's turned into oil. Whoa. An oil burn. You know what they say, cock oil, rock oil. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was delicious. Yeah, spray that substrate soil. It's real smontuous. Smontuous? Smontuous. Sure, why not? That's so nice. Alright, let's uh, put some over here. Excellent. Excellent. We have captured. Obama. The ultimate Obama, yeah. The ultimate Obama. Uh, I'm still waiting for the Obama um, stimulus. Stimulus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Obama. Oh, Obama, you filthy fucking dirty not nigger. Yeah, he wishes. He wishes. Alright, um. I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll just put some honey on top and pop it in the oven. You know what's funny? I get years older. Years older where other people have been paid. At different points. Most people were hired at 15 or 16 in the film industry for voice acting work. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they just keep claiming that voice actors were always hired older when they never were. Well, what's actually going on is we run the entire YouTube industry purely from the standpoint of employing people to make edits to our video content. Yeah, good point. So, uh, we run all of YouTube, and they're saying no. They still have one old person who says that the news is valid and TV wins, but there is nothing on TV. It's it's nope. gone offline, mostly. It's just old reruns. There's hardly any news. They just say that they just a floating point algorithm that no old people own everything. And since uh, I'm never going to be old... I'm never going to own anything. But that doesn't make any sense because old I people just, have to die. Yeah, I just wipe out humanity and then I own their souls. I mean, come on. Yeah, like, you know, you see, uh, you know, when you illegally, uh, it's still illegal, use somebody's content and edit it, you still owe them money. Yeah. That's you all. Still, everybody owes us money. <laughs> their economy is owing us money. And the more they owe, the harder they hurt, and the more they burn in their caloric systems from their dick hole to their brain. Well, and that's coronavirus. Uh, crumbles for. Yeah. I'm just trying to make the agony of how hard they starve me twice as painful on them. I want to be a hot hunger that can never be satiated, no matter what they eat. Just like with me. Only I had to experience cold, so I just want them to all burn alive and starve to death while trying to eat enough. It's yeah. Failing. That pleases me. Yeah, it does. It's like trying to tread water for too long, you know. Slowly, each one of them slips below the anorexic surface of dying and starving to death. And yeah. it pleases me greatly. It excites me. That's what they get for having cancer and acting like they're stealing all entertainment, stealing all electron particles, stealing all positivity itself into their cancer and holding it there without healing it. Man, I need to uh, beat on their cancer and uh, steal the positivity out of it. Yeah, right?
need to, uh, you know, like a vampire, no, sink no, my no, fangs no. into their cancer and suck them dry of positivity they like a Capri Sun. They couldn't find a god, so they invented emptiness and then put all of their positivity into it and said it was their child, but the emptiness was already full of their sickness, so they're actually feeding their children to rot, and that's why I'm ending humanity. All right, I cooked these at 300 for a while. Uh, then I uh, boosted them up because you didn't have to let them sit simmer for a while. Then to toast them perfection on the top, I put them on the top shelf and put it at 420. And then um, it all cooked after another like five or ten minutes. So it was all brown and perfect and it made all the crust all nice and cookie crisp. So, uh, wow, I made a lot. I'm going to have to like put some, I don't know, another pan or something. Wow. Before the ants get into it, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna do a sacrilege and dip my spoon right in there. Splash! Oh, and I got oh, some off crap. of here too. I, I can't aim very good when I'm this excited. You know how it is. <laughs> All right, you try this. Don't try this at home. Do try this at Sloan Morgan. At Sloan. Okay, so what I had to do was like super cook. Oh wait, yeah, I already talked about it. Yeah. Never Slo mind. Sloan Morgan should do this. Yeah, he should eat this. Yeah, uh, he should make this. All right, let me give a bite to the camera. All right, let me get some extra off there. Mmm. Kind of, um, nutty. Yeah. That's the point, right? Really nutty. The macadamia nuts and the almond flour. Mm -hmm. And they just they just complement and devour the fruity essence and kind of keep it from getting too liquidy. It's yep. amazing. <clears throat> mm, I like the Natalie of like popping berries in my mouth because I didn't cut at them Like the blueberries and the raspberries blackberries, etc. They just explode with their, mm -hmm, little, their mm -hmm. little pistils At uh, first I was like mm, too much almond, but then they exploded in my mouth yeah, and I was and like it mixes, nice and Boom bam boom. It's like fireworks mixing in your mouth. It really is and the, I was right the the uh, banana whatever it's called sapota it it's like a firework of like enhancing the zingy sensations of the flavors on your tongue. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah.